A long legal battle over two Newfoundland dogs in the Comox Valley is finally drawing to a close. The regional district seized Chum and Champ from their owners more than a year ago over fears they were dangerous. Just last month, a judge ruled that one dog was dangerous, but the other was not, adding a new twist to an already complicated case. CTV's Gord Curvis has the latest. Oh, you're such a great big baby. Look at you. His Newfoundland dogs have been at the center of a complicated legal battle for more than a year. But Jacques Monceau is hopeful a resolution is around the corner. Today, he's also thankful for the support he and his dogs have been receiving. And I would like to thank everyone in the world who love and care for a chum and chum. And dog love, they don't ask for nothing. I hope people will do the same one day. His dog, Champ, is now with good friends after being freed by a provincial court judge. But the dog's lifelong mate, Chum, is still in custody at the SPCA. And according to supporters, not doing well. well. For the last few weeks, she's really gone downhill. She's had to have IV fluids for the last week. Um, they've changed her medication a few times. Uh, it looks as though she may have gastric ulcers. She definitely has internal bleeding. Irene Foley is a Chum and Champ supporter working on having the dog released from custody now on medical grounds. He says Chum has suffered greatly over the past year, but in particular, since the judge set only one of them free. I believe when Champ was with her, she was able, it was, it was almost normal. She was able to, you know, get through uh, the separation from her family. But once uh, Champ was taken away on the 16th, uh, she was inconsolable. Today, the regional district's general manager of public affairs says the dog has been getting better, but Chum's health issues are a concern. She says that's why both sides of the issue need to work together to get it resolved. We have no agreement. We had a proposal. Uh, we accepted it. We have basically done everything we can to ensure that we come to some kind of reasonable proposal. The regional district said it did agree with a proposal from Nanaimo's Melissa Buck to take possession of Chum. But Buck told me earlier today conditions that attached to that deal from the regional district were too restrictive and unconstitutional. The deadline for that agreement passed at 9 a.m. this morning. The regional district insists its proposal of having Chum live in an undisclosed Vancouver Island location is the best one. We think it's a really good option. Uh, it would offer Chum a nice life and we are hopeful that that would be accepted but that will be up to the judge to determine. And in another new development, the lawyer representing Monceau and his dogs was replaced over the weekend with Vancouver lawyer Rebecca Bretter. Well, what we're hoping is uh, that Chum will be released, that he'll be put back together with his lifetime mate. The deadline for coming up with a deal on the issue is this Friday. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Comox.